in days long ago. People would come to the drive-in to experience highs and lows, to laugh or cry or scream. Everyone who came to the drive-in shared something in common. They wanted to escape, if just for a few hours, into the world of the imagination, of possibility, seeing their dreams play out on the screen. It was an innocent time. And then, in a flash, the apocalypse. <laughs> And everything was gone. Those great movies have been forgotten. But some films won't stay dead. drive-in horror show. Tonight's offerings are very tasty. Some are brutal, some are raw, <coughs> some are quite bloody. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Shall we? Yes, master. Very good. This is a classic story of those darn nasty college boys and their horny little minds. Oh, they think they're so invincible and can get away with anything. Well, enjoy. You may start. Yes, master.
Oh. <laughs> You'd better shut up and do what I say. Jimmy! Tommy! Ah! Shut up! Shut up! Your dickhead roommates aren't gonna help you, shithead. I checked. Everyone is gone. I cut the phone line. I got the door barricaded. In this house, no one is going to come when you scream. And by the time any of your f***head roommates get here, the water will be way over your little head. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Stop it! Don't struggle! Why am I doing this to you? Why am I doing this to you? I wake up and you're humping me. You're going to town. You remember this? Well, we're all pretty wasted. <laughs> wasted? You slipped me something. <laughs> slipped you something? A roofie. Roofie? What's a roofie? I, <laughs> I found those pills under your bed. How do you think I got you in the bathtub? How many enough clothes did you give me? Enough. <laughs> Please don't talk anymore. I have a really bad headache. You're gonna drown. You can't let me drown. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what Jimmy's idea is looking up till I swear. Uh, shut up.
You drown. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was Jimmy's idea. He started me game. And he'd done it before. I don't deserve this. Oh, you deserve this. Don't tell me you haven't done this before. In some countries, they stone men like you. I'm sorry. It wasn't my idea. Don't lie. You are in no position to lie. Say it! It wasn't my idea. You are into it. I was drugged, you idiot! I can't die. The bread is cash. Thousands of dollars. Here. It could all be yours if you let me go. Here. You're lying. Check for yourself upstairs. So you'll let me go. <laughs> I 
found the money. Thanks. It'll help me get a new start. I'm sorry. I truly am. <laughs> I bet you are. That still won't change what you've done. <laughs> Just leave me. I'll be fine. We can call it even. <laughs> now, how would it look? If I let a pig like you keep drugging women. Oh, just leave me. Just leave me. I'm sorry. Just leave me. Don't turn the water on. No, no. Don't turn the water on, please. I'm so sorry. Please. Go. No, no, wait. 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 Now there's a real lady. She really gave it to him. <laughs> Boss. Boss. We've got a problem. Yes, Frank. Someone wants a refund. Uh. <sighs> yes, I know, Billy. But Frank is the best we can afford. It's not my fault, really. The talent market dried up after the second apocalypse. Now, I must see to that situation. Will you get the next film ready? Yes, master. This place is terrible. This is the worst drive-in I have ever been to. What a ripoff. Business isn't what it once was. These days, we get two customers a night. Sometimes none. The public today doesn't appreciate the beauty of the drive-in. As for the undead, well, they have no money, and they're never satisfied. Sorry, our drive-in isn't up to your high standards, but there are no refunds. House rules. Besides, you're going to love our next story. It's very scary. Lots of killing. 
You'll enjoy it, I promise. Whatever. This place gets worse every time we come back. We're never coming here again. The undead are so hard to please. <laughs> Roll em, Billy! Yes, Master. Is that you? No, Dad, just me. Where the hell have you been? You should have been home hours ago. I had orchestra practice, remember? No. Well, get ready for dinner. We had to wait because of you. Okay. Your father told me you got an A-plus on your history test. That's fabulous news. I know. I'm the smartest girl in the whole grade. No question about it. That's my girl. Jamie, why can't you be more like your sister? I got a B plus in my math exam. A B plus? Your sister was getting straight A's at your age. You're obviously not trying very hard. Obviously, he's daydreaming about outer space too much. Shut up! Hey! Stop that! Have a little respect for your sister. Besides, we all know that the likelihood of you actually becoming an astronaut is like a million to one. No way, I'll be an astronaut. Well, I'm going to be on Wall Street. See, that's a better idea. You could be an investment banker, stockbroker, make a little money. I think you should be a lawyer, Jamie. Lawyers suck and I hate you all. What did you just say? Lawyers suck. And? I hate you all. Go to your room right now! No more stopper for you! Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with that kid. Yes, not 
Contest, I just knew you were going to win. So did I, babe. So did I. Christy? What type I'm, always I'm mad at you. I'm sorry I said I hated you. You should be. Do you mind? I'm trying to watch TV. I just will. Well, spit it out. I'm missing my favorite commercial. I need to ask you a favor. Oh, Mr. Astronaut Boy needs a favor? Don't ask me you want to watch one of your crappy sci-fi shows again. I'm not moving from this couch. I need you to get something from my closet. Why should I help you? If you help me, I'll clean your room. Yeah, right. I want two weeks of allowance or I'm not doing it. Fine. Let's do business. All right, what do you need me to get? My space shuttle model up there, way in the back. Easiest money I have ever made. I'm gonna be such a good investment banker. Are you sure it's back here? All I feel is books and magazines. Yeah, keep looking. I can't believe I'm missing my favorite TV show for this. This is so stupid. I mean, you're so dumb. Sometimes I wonder if you weren't adopted or... <laughs> Persuade Chrissy to give you the TV. She never misses an episode of Team Beach Hawaii. Well, I guess I'm just a good brother. What are you so happy about? Oh, nothing. You better not be thinking about space camp. You know you're not going. But you're gonna work with me in my office this summer. Learn to take some responsibility and stop having these pipe dreams of adventures in outer space. But Dad, Chrissy went to tennis camp when she was my age, and it's not fair. Tennis can't build the mind as well as the body. Besides, we all know that the government's going to cut spending for the space program anyway. There's no future in it. Well, won't you just think about it? Jamie, that's enough. I make the money in this household, and it's my decision. You're not going, and that's final. And aren't you supposed to be up in your room right now? Get back in there!
on something. Doing paperwork. Ask me later. Please, Dad. Fine. Make it quick. Well? I have a leak in my closet. You what? There's a leak. At least it sounds like there is. Jesus Christ, why didn't you say so? I don't hear anything. I must have stopped. It might start back up again. Where was the sound coming from? There. Uh, this better not be bad. Water damage is so expensive. Oh, and then you have to call a plumber, and they're not cheap. Jamie, are you sure you heard a leak around here? Can't find anything. I'm sure, Dad. Keep looking. You'll find it. I don't see a damn thing. The floor is not even wet. I know I heard something. Well, where is the sound coming from? More to the right. Not there. I think I heard it from the left, too. Oh, I sure hope there's not a leak in the water heater. Or some crappy pipe. Damn house is falling apart, and now my smart ass kid is hearing noises. The last thing I need is. <laughs> something more reliable, more safer. Oh, I knew you'd come around. I want to be an office manager. Wow, that's wonderful. I want to celebrate by throwing out all the crappy astronaut stuff. Yeah, that is a great idea. We can start with these models. No, not the X for seven. I mean, I thought we'd work our way out. Let's do the closet first. Okay. You don't know how long I wanted to do this. I mean, it took all my self-control not to do this already. Lord knows I wanted to. I mean, what a mess. Look at all this junk. Books, models, toys. I mean, you could have spent your time doing something useful. I mean, the world's a disappointing place, Jamie, and the sooner you learn that, the better. The daydreams won't help you. Good for nothing. You never have a shot of coming true anyway. I mean, you can dream if you want, and it's not gonna happen.
Nice day today. Yes, it's beautiful. Hey, when you see your dad, tell him he missed one hell of a game last night. Excuse me? Tuesday night poker. He usually cleans house. Speaking of which, this place is looking great. You folks turn over a new leaf? Yeah, something like that. All right. Well, take it easy, Jamie. You too. so easily misguided. He never knew how good he had it until he killed them all. Sad. But there's a lesson to be learned here. It... Is there a problem? It's just a little blood. What is it going to do? Kill you? Besides, you two need to get a little meat on your bones. I can't believe I paid five dollars for this. I must just watch the next movie already. Putting meat on one's bones reminds me of another ghastly film. You may wish, however, to eat quickly before this next gruesome tale. It's not for the faint of heart or stomach. You've been warned. <laughs> Patrick Mazursky. I'm only 43 years old, but my time. 
time is growing short. I can't feel much of anything anymore. Thank God. Either they've shot me full of drugs, or my nerves have finally failed completely. It's a blessing, really. No one should have to feel that kind of pain. Let me explain. I'm a doctor. Or at least I was. Which meant a lot of paperwork. There is way too much paperwork in modern medicine. Everything in medicine today is run like a business. It's all about money and not about care. I'm one of the few doctors left that makes house calls. All doctors used to think this way back before we became overworked, underappreciated, and sued at every turn. I couldn't give a shit about that, though. All that really matters is treating people, period. If someone wants to sue me, fine. I can't be petrified by fear. I have a job to do. <coughs> Some people are driven to the fringe of society, but that doesn't mean that they don't deserve good health care. They are human beings. So I see people wherever they are, city, country, living on the street, wherever. Word gets around about a guy like that. Which brings me to the start of my story. I got a call a few days ago from Julie Weaver, a sweet country housewife. She said her husband was feeling ill, but they don't have insurance, so they called me. Henry, when did you first notice those sores? Yesterday. Have you been sitting a lot? That could cause sores. Well, I spent a lot of time in this chair, but nothing more than normal. How do you feel? Queasy, achy, dizzy. And my insides hurt. Hmm. Could be the flu, but those look like pressure sores, but I've never seen them form so quickly. Why don't you come down to the clinic? I think you'll qualify for our free care. No, no, no. I've got to work. I'm working tonight on the full shift. I'm coming back tomorrow for double. Yes, couldn't we just give it a day or two and see if it gets better? We can bring him in if it doesn't. All right. Okay. <coughs> anyway, it's probably just a clue. Yeah, just call me if it gets worse. Yeah, worse. Those sores were a little unusual, but uh, not out of the ordinary. If a patient has health care, he'll get more tests done. If he doesn't, he'll give it a day or two and hope it improves. It often does. I took care of Henry as best I could. I can't help it if the system is broken. Now I needed to take care of myself. My wife and I split up a few years ago. It's my fault. I gave too much to my job and not enough to her. Too often I get caught up at work, lose track of time, and blow off whatever plans we had. My wife left me. And any future of starting a family left with her. But I've learned my lesson. And I was ready to put Ellen first. So she decided to give me another shot. I was determined not to screw it up. Don't you look great. Thank you. You look, uh, pretty good yourself. Just pretty good? <laughs> <laughs> A good start. Then, this little girl gets up on stage, and for a second, you know, I just thought, she's just gonna freeze up there. <laughs> she's not gonna move. And then, she opens her mouth, and this incredible, gorgeous voice comes out of this little tiny second grader. It was just, oh, it was great. She brought the house down. Oh, <laughs> wow. I wish good. I could have seen it. Well, we're, um, we're doing Fiddler on the Roof in the spring. You should come. I'd love to. Listen, um, I've been thinking. We, um, well, 
we had a good thing going before, and um, I was a fool to throw it away. I'm glad you gave me another chance. You're welcome. Let's see if we can make the best of it. I might have caught that flu Henry had. It's a constant danger in my profession. I wasn't going to work that day. No one wants to be treated by a sick doctor. Oh, nothing like a hot shower to make you feel human, at least for a little bit. again tonight? Might be too soon. Probably is. But I really want to. Except... What? Except what? Feeling a little under the weather. I don't think I'm very good company right now. Oh, you poor thing. Well, you know I could take care of you. Really? Sure, I, I can make some soup and we can watch a movie. It might not be as fun as last night, but, uh... Sounds perfect. Great. How about I come by at seven? Seven's good. See you then. See you. Ellen, I... Julie?
Henry Weaver. No record of Henry Weaver at any hospitals, Patrick. I know an ambulance was there earlier today. Are you sure? No record of any ambulance calls to that address. All right. Thanks, Evelyn. Bye. Bye, Patrick. The nice thing about being a doctor is that you can treat yourself. Or at least, I thought I could. Vitals are normal. But I'm clearly sick. Strange. Patrick? Patrick! Ellen! Don't touch oh. me! Patrick, what's wrong? Why won't you let me near you? I don't want you to see me like this. You shouldn't have touched me. <coughs> when did you start coughing? Uh, I don't know. A, a, a couple hours ago. I think I'm just getting a cold. God, God, am I, am I? We have to go to the hospital, both of us. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll drive. L let me get my bag. Patrick, we mean no harm to either of you. We know what's happening. Let us help. I don't believe you. You're not in a position to negotiate. Come with us. writing? Yeah. I have a few questions, though. 
I assure you, I don't have any answers. It's time for your treatment. How's Ella? She here? Come on. I know I can't see her. Just want to know how she's doing. Can't you tell me something? Who are you guys? Government? Biological research? What, are you gonna make a weapon out of this stuff? What about you? Why don't you need a mask around this stuff? Are you immune? You know, it's mutating, right? Henry had different symptoms than I do, but I'm sure we both have the same disease. It's only a matter of time before it changes the way it spreads, too. If it hasn't already. Sir, his vitals are compromised. Suggest we abort treatment. Continue treatment. What, sir? Continue treatment. You don't want to treat me at all. You probably think you found everyone who's been exposed to this. And maybe you have. You might have been under control for a while but I don't think you can forever you aren't smarter than mother nature even if you did create this disease you can't tell it what to do yeah you might contain this for a little while but I know disease this one under control for a while but what if it gets out you'd think a doctor would know better what a shame to happen to such a good man but I think his story is close to this isn't working. This driving is getting so old. If I had the money, I'd put in a new sound system. If I could find one. I know, I know. It's Saturday night. Let's not dwell on things we cannot change. Our next feature is a tasty little tidbit I like to call the Meat Man. Bon appetit. Billy, start the next film, please. Yes, Master. Tommy, I got to level 20 last night. There were tons of vampires and zombies, and I cut them up into little bits. They were not, liar. Oh yeah? How do you know? You've never done it. That's because there's no level 20, doofus. The game only goes up to level 15. Oh, well, it's a great game anyway. <laughs> yeah, it is. I beat Ninja Massacre 4 once. 
You did not. You could never get past the green shadow, remember? I always had to do it for you. Yeah, well, once I did when you weren't home, so there. Yeah, right. Well, this is my stop. Take it easy, guys, and watch out for the meat man. You too. Bye, Bruce. Bye. Who's the meat man? He's nobody. You wouldn't be interested. Besides, you're not old enough. It's big kid stuff. I'm a big kid. Oh yeah, you think so? Are you big enough to hear the scariest story you'll ever heard in your whole life? Yeah. Well, they say that... No, wait, I shouldn't tell you. It's better that you don't know. Wait, wait, I'm ready, Tommy, I'm ready. I don't know, Oaks. I don't think Mom would be too happy if I told you this. She told me not to. Pretty please, I can keep a secret. She'll never know, honest. Well, okay, but you can't tell her I told you. Even if you have terrible nightmares and can't sleep for a week, you have to promise me you'll never tell her. I promise. Spit on it. <laughs> Spit on it. Okay, here it is. Do you remember last week when you suddenly got a new soccer coach? What's his name? Mr. Weidler? Yeah, him. Do you know what happened to your old soccer coach? Mrs. Lang? They said she was really sick and had to stay home. That's what they said. But do you know what really happened? What really happened? No one heard from her for a few days, and the neighbors began to notice a bad smell coming from her house. Danny? Danny? They went to see if she was okay, and there she was, lying on the kitchen floor. Was she okay? Oh no, she was dead. But that's not the worst part. What's the worst part? When they found her, parts of her were missing. Ew! That's not all. The killer didn't just take any part. Oh no, he only took the bits that were juicy and fresh. The leg, the thigh, only the good cuts of meat. The cops found little bits of shiny white butcher paper and string that the killer used to keep the meat fresh. That's why they call him the Meat Man. Did they catch him? No. No one even knows what he looks like. And Miss Lane wasn't his first victim, either. He's done this before, and he's still out there waiting to do it again. Don't let him get me. <laughs> Relax. He's not here. Besides, I've got your back. Now let's go home and get a snack, OK? Good evening and welcome back to WZW Wrestling Night. The bout between El Stinko and the Dumpster Diver to see who will be the master, master of, of the, the trash, trash compactor. Let's get to the action. Tommy? Yeah? I'm scared. I'm scared the meat man's gonna get me. I knew I shouldn't have told you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be scared. Oakley, the meat man is not going to get you. How do you know? Because he can't. If he breaks in here, I'll bash his head in. I don't know, Tommy, I bet he's pretty tough. What if he gets you too? He can't. Why not? Because he just can't. He probably doesn't like kids anyway. Not enough meat. I guess. Tommy? Yeah? Can you play with me? I I'm trying to watch TV. Pretty please? The show's over in five minutes. Can you wait that long? No. How about you draw me a picture? Something happy, not scary at all. That's a good idea. How about Mr. Amazing Body Slamming El Stinko? Sure. Now let me finish this. OK. He just got a nasty handful of trash in his mouth. Then look in down. 
good study. Okay. Dad's the meat man. What? Don't be crazy. He's not the meat man. How do you know? Well, for one, he's our dad. He wakes up, eats breakfast, goes to work, comes home, eats dinner, and tucks us in, just like any other dad. He goes to your soccer games, plays catch, and takes us to the movies. He goes on business trips and brings us back presents. He's just dad. He sells vacuums. He's not a killer. I guess. So where does the blood come from? Huh? So how does the blood get on Dad's string if he's not the killer? I don't know. Maybe he was tying something. Like what? I don't know. How about a package? So he ties it up and cuts the string and accidentally cuts himself. And a little bit gets on the string and he goes to get a Band-Aid. And he puts the string back in the bag and doesn't notice the blood. I guess. But that doesn't seem right. It could happen. But Dad likes fresh meat. That's what Dad always says when he's grilling. He says, always get the freshest meat you can, boys. You can cook it any way you like. But if the meat isn't fresh, it isn't worth eating. So? Lots of dads like good meat. Moms, too. That doesn't prove a thing. Buddy, you can't take that much punishment. It is kind of creepy, though. See, I told you. Just because it's creepy, doesn't mean our dad's the meat man. Doesn't mean he isn't. All right, suppose for a second he is. How does he do it? Easy. He comes back early from a business trip, but tells mom he's going to be home much later. Like, four in the morning. He drives to someone's house. Whose house? Someone he already picked out. He would go over there ahead of time to make sure the person was right. Like a girl in shape going jogging. Why is she going jogging? Because Meat Man wants good meat, right? He would never pick someone who is too fat. Or too skinny. Right. So he checks her out ahead of time. Okay. So it's the middle of the night. He goes to her house. So he walks over and goes to the back door. breaks and finds her upstairs, asleep. He kills her, but he's careful not to make any noise. Or to spoil the meat, he would never use a gun. Right. Once she's dead, he cuts her up and wraps everything in shiny white paper and string. Then he takes his meat and goes. That could work. But I just have one question. What? What would Dad do with all that meat? He couldn't eat it all right away. Could he? He'd freeze it, I guess. You'd need a big freezer. Remember the time he caught us playing in his freezer? Ooh, yeah! yeah! Woo! More, more, more! I can't believe you two. This is not a toy. You ruined all this food. You are never, ever to go in this freezer again. Do you understand me? Yes, Dad. Do you really think? No, couldn't be. He was just punishing us for doing something stupid. Yeah, just punishing us. 
You first. Me first? Why me? You're my older brother. You're supposed to go first. Okay. Is everything all right? Stay away from us, you murderer! Murderer? What on earth are you two talking about? We found a leg in the freezer! Of what? Lamb? No! A human leg! Look! Boys, what's going on here? Boys, I know there's something going on here. Now spill it. We thought you were the meat man, Daddy. <laughs> Who told you about the meat man, Tommy? I didn't mean to. Tommy, you know he's not old enough for that kind of thing. Sorry. And what on earth would make you two think that I am the meat man? We found some string and shiny white paper in your study. The same kind the meat man uses. And the string had blood on it. Boys, you've got it all wrong. I was preparing some dirt samples for a business trip. We're pushing the new dirt monster model. It's a powerful machine, top of the line. Anyway, I decided that instead of using labels for the dirt samples, that I would use color-coded string. It's a little classier. And details like that can mean the difference between a sale and going home with a lot of unsold vacuums, boys. And it worked, too. We sold quite a few dirt monsters that trip. It's a quality item. So is that what this was all about? The string? Yeah. Mostly. Although the more we thought about it, the more it seemed like you might be the meat man. And you like meat, and you had this huge freezer down here. And we even figured out how you could be the meat man without getting caught. It kind of made sense. <laughs> the meat man. Boys, do you know how ridiculous that is? There go your imaginations again. But I am going to have to punish you for going in the freezer. That means no TV, including video games, for one week. We're sorry. We won't do it again, Daddy. Apology accepted. Why don't we put this all behind us? It's just about dinner time, and I'm thinking about cooking steak for supper. Got some great cuts, real high quality. You guys hungry? Yeah. All right. What do you say you go upstairs, start making a salad, and uh, I'll get some meat, and uh, we'll come up and start cooking. just goes to show that you never really know someone, even your own father. Well, it's getting late, and I've saved the best for last. A story of sheer terror, where young lust meets pure animal nature. This one is called The Watcher. Enjoy it. 
if you can. So, how did you find this place? Me and my old man used to come up here, hunt and fish when I was a kid. You know, before he split. It's in the middle of fucking nowhere. This place is fucking awesome. Right in the lake, nice and cool. We can shoot the guns, blast the music and no one will even fucking hear us. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, are you gonna smoke that thing? Because you're wasting it. Oh, yeah. Have I ever told you that I love you? Yeah, uh, I think you should give that back to me. You're definitely way too stoned to be driving. Check it out. Didn't take long for those two to get started. Hey, you freaking rabbit. Can't you two wait? Sweet. Yeah. This one's yours. Hey, thanks, buddy. Finally. Here you go. Seriously? This is going to be so much fun, guys. <laughs> You're so going to fall over with that thing on your back. Yeah, really? <laughs> Who's got the radio? Me. Are you going to try to take control of the music again, huh? <laughs> Onward. How far of a hike did you say this was? It's only 20 minutes, you fucking pussy. You won't believe how fucking sweet this place is. It's like two minutes from this awesome beach. It's all set up to camp. There's a fire pit, an old outhouse, no shitting on the ground. Yeah, I hear that. This place is really quiet. I've never seen anyone around here ever. It's like they dropped a fucking nuclear bomb. Hey, Cherry, wanna get wet? Ew, very funny. But seriously, what's with you guys and the guns? It makes up for the fact that we have small penises. Well, don't shoot them near me. No worries. We are trained experts with them. Trained by monkeys? I bet I can. Well, I bet you cannot. You know, it's not like changing washer fluid. Come on. Oh, come on, dude. You have such a little faith in my abilities. So how do you feel about the guns? I grew up around guns. You know, JJ and Tommy, they're more likely to hurt themselves than anyone else. And JJ adores you. He'd never hurt you. Yeah, I know that. It's just I've never really been around them before. Actually, I feel safer having them. <laughs> what if a bear walks into camp? And besides, I'm a great shot. Look, well, fuck you, JJ, okay? Oh, 20 minutes? I Come mean, on. 20 minutes, an hour. What's the difference, guys? Are we there yet? Oh, it's cold, dude. Yeah. It's really wow. Good. Yeah. You know, 
Guerrero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one in the lake. Let's cook dinner. Wait. What? <laughs> I give up, I give up. It's too cold. It's not cold, it's refreshing. Oh no, cannonball. Oh yeah, boy fight. Give us some boy on boy action. <laughs> You know you love it. All right, you guys ready for some super shooting action? <laughs> Let's see it. Here we go. Oh, come on. This one's for you. Thanks. Fuck. Really? That's embarrassing. Nice shooting, Tex. <laughs> I bet you can't do much better. Wanna bet? Yeah. A blowjob. Take it. Wow, you suck, JJ. I want my blowjob text. Oh, God, no, no. <laughs> Don't do it near me. <laughs> I'm such a loser. Oh, boys. Tommy, that was a great meal. <laughs> Where did you learn to cook? Dude, that food was so fucking good. God. I could have used some A1 sauce in mine. It was kind of tough. What? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Look, if it was so freaking <laughs> tough, miss, then why did you eat it all and have seconds? <laughs> because I'm totally fucking stoned. Bullshit. <laughs> I never touch this stuff, except when I'm around her. Oh, oh me? Oh. You're blaming me now. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. You're still a virgin, right? Oh. <laughs> I am such a slut. <laughs> yeah, you are. Embrace it, love it. Woo! I'm happy. <laughs> She's the one who was the bad influence on me. Don't blame me for your sluttiness. You were like that before we met. I was not. No, I don't believe you. <laughs> should do now? No. What? We should have a midnight swim. <laughs> no way! What? <laughs> that water is way too freaking cold oh. now. Plus, I'm really, really tired. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you do not know what you're missing. <laughs> I hope you freeze your balls off. Oh. All right, you know what? You are not going. Oh, I am. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're crazy! Uh, it is way too freaking cold! Fine. Be that way. Hey, JJ! Roll up a joy, man! I'm swimming in! You sneaky bastard! JJ! Where the fuck are you, man? Come on, JJ!
Hey, yo, come on, JJ, this isn't funny, man. Funny, tough Tommy werewolf. <laughs> ow! <laughs> ow! Bark at the moon. Ow, 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 ow! What, Tommy? You slip on your pants? Oh, again? <laughs> Tommy? JJ, look. Ew! <laughs> what? I think a fucking bear or something got him. I mean, look at all this blood. It's a joke. <laughs> it's fake. <laughs> I don't know. That looks pretty real to me. Where the f are you going? To get my gun. <laughs> That's so fake. <laughs> I don't know. It, it stinks. Hey, guys, wait up. Guys, let's get out of here. We can hike out in 20 minutes and then call the cops. Our cell phone should work from there. Tommy could be hurt. We just can't leave him here. He's close. You two are such worry warts. Tommy boy, <laughs> come on out. We had enough fun. Ha ha fucking ha. The police are equipped for this type of shit. We're not. Shut up, just shut up. I will not shut up. Quiet. This way. Everything else. Mary, you take Tommy's rifle. What the f was that thing? A bear. I don't know. I've never bear. seen a bear walk like that before. How many times have you seen a bear? I don't know. Just get the f out of here, guys. Let's go. He had f***ing clothes on. It wasn't a f***ing bear, JJ. It has to be some psycho killer. Shut up. I don't care at this point. We need to get to the car. Who knows what the f is out there? We'll be okay. We got more firepower. Locked and loaded. Who knows what the f could be in these woods? That guy was fucking huge. Okay, okay. We'll all be fine. Let's just try to be quiet. like that sound. <laughs> We 
Which way is the trail? Here. Shh. Keep your voice down. That thing got Mary. I know that. We gotta keep moving and get to the car. We'll be safe then. It's so dark out here, I can't see a thing. I think I hear something. I hear it too. He's following us, I know it. I just know he's following us. Just keep moving, Cherry. We got to get to the car. What was that? I don't know, just keep moving. Yeah, yeah, keep moving. You're out there! 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh god. Oh. Come on. Come on. Start. Come on, start. Start. Come on, start. the end of our night of ghastly terrors. I hope you've had a good time. We've had some scary bits, some gross, some funny. I just can't seem to choose my favorite. Like all good things, this too must come to an end. These films we will keep safe. So, we will see you the next time, if you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.